talking about slope. Benji, in your own words, what would you say slope is? So I see rise and run, right? Those are some of the associations. But if somebody asked you to explain what is slope, like how could you actually use that in the real world? When would you actually see it? See it. Yeah, when would you see some, like a slope or something? In the mountains, very good. A ski lift. A ski lift, awesome, right? If I'm a brand new snowboarder, and by the way, I'm going snowboarding this weekend. I will do <laughs> video footage, thank you. Um, <laughs> if I'm brand new to snowboarding, Kane, am I gonna get on a black diamond? No. No, why not? Because, yeah. Because you have to work your way up from green, blue, black diamond, and no Okay, so. Can you come up and um, can you tell me what would the what what would the black diamond look like if we were at the mountains right now? Okay, sure. you may use any of these books, okay? Right? And this is the ski run. The ski run. So say this is like a green run. All right. Um, here, this is green. Done. So, yeah, I think. Go ahead, show us again. Everybody's watching. So right here we have a green run, and then. Um, Blue, which is a little bit steeper nice. than a black diamond, which is also steeper. And then a double black diamond, <laughs> which is steep, steep. I can tell you, you spent some time in the mountains. Thanks, Alex. Awesome. Let's give Alex a round of applause. So using Alex's analogy about the line about the steepness of the hills, right? Double black being the steepest, right? What can we expect in terms of the rise and the run, okay? What can I expect? What can I anticipate? And who would like to come up and somebody new, I want you to take these, take these words here to represent where I would measure the rise and the run. Okay, Sophia, thank you. Okay, we've got rise and run. Go ahead, darling, get okay. started. So, for rise, you would measure the height. Okay. And then, for run, you would measure the bottom. Okay, thank you for actively listening to my lecture, lecture series, okay? Live on YouTube, you can also watch the replay in case you missed it. Huh? Now, thank you. Who agrees with Sophia? I agree. Okay. Now friends, we also, I'm gonna put a piece of tape here. So using Sophia's analogy, I'm gonna go ahead and measure the rise and the run. Aubrey, thinking about this in terms of being on a coordinate plane, what would you say, which axis represents the rise and which axis represents the run? Which axis? Yeah, the X or the Y axis. You're saying no, the run, run is this yeah. y-axis here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Who agrees? Yeah. Who disagrees? <laughs> Say, Kimmy? Um, the rise is the y and the run is the x. You, I noticed that when you say rise is the y, you are actually pointing up. Okay? Yeah. Who agrees with the Kimmy? Betsy, can you add on to that? I agree. You agree? <laughs> awesome, yes. So, um, Aubrey, the rise... Again, is that vertical, okay? The rise is the vertical. Let me write this down for everybody. You can, uh, the rise is the vertical, okay? The y-axis, the vertical. See here? This is it, right here. And the run, this is the rise, and the run, okay? Which is the x-axis. Thumbs up if you agree. Now, here's my next question. Um, Aurelia, if I am 
making a ramp, okay? I'm making a ramp for the car. That's what you guys are gonna be doing again. We're gonna be doing, doing that. And I'm making a ramp for car, okay? Let's just say hypothetically my ramp looks like this. Okay. Is my slope positive, negative, zero or undefined, right? Because we've been looking at different graphs of slope. What do you think? Okay, who agrees with Aurelia that the ramp, which is the car is going down the ramp, this is the car, is going to be positive. Miles, I think it's negative. Can you tell me why you know it's negative? Because the way that Okay, it's going down. And remember our song? If it was going up, it's what? Puff, puff, positive. Puff, puff, positive. It's going down, it's nice, negative. Okay, because it's nice and easy. So much harder to climb up that hill. Woo, a lot of breath. All right, friends, what you're going to be doing today, you're going to be using the ruler. You're going to be using one, two, three, four, five, six books. Everybody? Six books. And this time, you're going to be measuring the rise of the run with a table of values. Okay? What is a table of values? Anybody? My, um, Max. What do I mean by I want you to measure with a table of values. Okay, but if I wanted to put in a value here, right? What would that be in relation to this coordinate plane? I mean, the numbers that you get is graph. That's right, to graph it. Those are your, called your points, right? Friends, for each of your ramps, I want you to come up with at least two points. So, here's one here. I'm measuring the top. Who can tell me what is my Y coordinate, the vertical? Zoe? Uh, 31. Good. 31. Is that 31? Let me check again. It looks like, oops, I had it upside down. Lo siento. Okay. How about now? And you can use a... What do you say? Oops, whoops. About 11 or 12? The top. No, the top of the slope where I'm going to launch my car. That's what we're looking for. It's 12. Remember, this is your rise. This is your vertical. Okay? Here's your run, Zoe. Here's your run. Okay? It's 21. Questions? I want you to use three. You can make your ramp as fast as you want. Then what I want you to do is to record the time for each slope. Okay, so make another section where you put the time. This is where you can get your phones out. Who wants to launch my car? Anybody want to launch my NYPD car? Benji, you want to see how fast? Who's got a timer for me? Who wants to time it? Okay, thank you. We're paying, thank you for paying attention. Who's got a phone? All right, she's going to time it. Go ahead. I'm going to record Wait, the time here. I'm going to record your time. Go ahead. Let's see how fast this NYPD card can go. Do I just go now? No. Wait, so she's ready. Okay. We're going to stop it right here at the end of our run. Okay? Three, two, one, go. It went for 0.8 seconds. 
So eight tenths of a second. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do the next one. A different rise and run. It's a little bit less steep, okay? And again, measuring it. Oops, again, I did it upside down. It's just in my DNA. Okay? It's like seven, it's nine inches tall. Nine? The rise is nine. And the run. <coughs> is still 21. Why do you think the run has not changed? Because we haven't moved it any further out or in, we've just lowered it. Very good. Okay. Who wants to come and launch my NYPD car? Miles. Okay, Kemi, you ready? All right. Kemi's going to get this started for us. Thank you so much. VIP here. Okay, let us know when you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Point nine. All right. Okay. Kevin, what do you notice? It's just going up. Point one second. Point one second. So it's increasing with the. Yeah, because the it's getting less. Very good. All right. We're going to get started. I'm also going to do the final thing with you guys. After you've recorded your